Sagittarius. Hello. How are you guys doing? I uh, hope you're doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for you, Sag. If I, got, if I can get my card shuffled. My Mercury is in Sag. Ten of, ten of Wands, letting go of burdens, taking back control, surrendering and releasing control. So you take back control so you can release control. So you could be able to move forward. Um, guess it, this one is a bit of a pickle. Hold on. Let me get my other cards on the table. Oh, something you're holding on to that's making you feel like you're powerless and the other person you're dealing with has all of the power and for a lot of you guys you're wondering how it is that you can move on how can i move on are you hurt is this person hurting you or are you hurting are you in a third party situation are you thinking there's a third party situation let's see what we have all right you got the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So that's one of my, my divine mates. But then also you have the Emperor sitting up there also. You're trying to control or want somebody to give more to you than they've been given. I feel like a lot of you guys are either holding back love or you feel like your person is holding back love. And you're tired of that. You're wanting them to kind of release the Kraken. Right? Like bust the dam open and flood you with the love that they have for you. It's almost like they are, they consistently give you a little bit. To the point where you're like, yo, why the fuck am I around at all? Right? This charity card here, the Six of Pentacles, is like, yo, like, do you just fucking put a coin in my mirror just because? You know, you don't, you, you want me to like do certain things or are you doing a bare minimum just so, just to keep me around? It's crazy that I just said that because I just looked at the hanged man and the five of swords. Because I do feel like some of you guys, that's exactly what you're thinking. You know, that five of swords is, you know, kind of, let me take care of me first so I don't get hurt in this situation, right? Let me do me. Let us being self-centered, taken for granted, you know, and I feel like that's how you feel right now with your person. It's like, yo, let me take care of me so they don't get the best of me. For a lot of you guys, you really need to let that shit go. For a lot of you guys, for some reason, yeah, you're staying stuck in that fucked up way of thinking. Sorry for the cursing, but just kind of came out that way. Some of you guys are really, really um, in your heads right now, but thinking about things in a distorted fashion. What I'm also hearing from these two is that you are also projecting a lot of your bullshit onto your person, which again is why you're saying here that, oh, they're holding back. I feel like I want them to be doing more, but they're not doing more. And I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm an option and I don't want to be an option. I should be like the main event. And if they want me, they're going to have to come towards me and give me what it is I want and or need. But secretly, you're you're scared like hell that say, for instance, this person doesn't see your value because of what they're juggling more than one option. Oh, I feel like I just told on somebody. also heard too that for some of you guys your hurt and pain is what's stopping you from being this queen of pentacles it's almost like if you can get to this queen of pentacles status this king of king of cups would come right to you right and what's stopping and you know um causing the delay in that is just all this bullshit theory and thought that you guys are coming up with for whomever this is resonating with That um, High Priestess and the Moon card, that's Pisces twice, 
All right, that is Pisces twice, ladies and um, Pisces and Cancer. Those are the probably the two most sensitive water signs. Scorpio is pretty sensitive too, but those guys are pretty tender. So I do kind of feel like you have secret emotions or a lot of you guys are feeling bad because you feel like a secret. Um, I also hear a lot of you guys feeling like you're in invisible, like you don't matter. Like these two cards here, this is ocean bottom deep, right? Those two cards there, you got the moon and the high priestess. So it's almost like there are all of these illusions and things floating around. And I feel like a lot of you guys are creating a smoke screen because you don't want to reveal what your true feelings are. You don't want to take the chance in being vulnerable because you already feel like they're not, they're ignoring you anyway. You feel like they are ignoring you anyway. So it's almost like I don't want to really reveal my feelings because it's not going to make a difference. Why reveal them when I'm an option anyway? But again, Sagittarius, that's that bullshit mentality. Empress, where's the emperor? Sitting right there. Divine partnership. Um, you got to give this person love. Right? You got to give this person love. Not only that, but I also hear, hear that you have to accept that say, for instance, they can't always be giving everything to you. There are other stuff that they have to do as well. I feel like a lot of you guys are waiting in vain, right? Let me wait and see if this dude will call me. Let me see if this chick will call me. And and by the way, you take that position, but then you don't do anything. So it's almost like you want to see if they'll do something, but then you stop doing everything. That, by the way, never, you never achieve success with that kind of attitude. Which again, why that's a hollow victory. Okay, this Ace of Wands, new passionate beginning. It's like, well, no, we got to we gotta do something new. But for, for you, Sagittarius, I don't feel like this is necessarily your person because they're sitting here with the King of Cups, right? They're sitting here in a position to love you and to give you love. It's just you and your bullshit that's pre presenting, preventing that. And guys, also remember, energy can be reversed. So I'm referring to you. It could be your person, okay? Don't. Beat me up in the comments. Okay. And High Priestess in a Moon card. Mm, a lot of you guys are trying to figure out if, yeah, look, Seven of Cups. Trying to figure out if you should stay or leave. How much longer should can I put up with this hurt and pain? You know, you think you know your value and worth. Well, if you did, you would understand that this hurt and pain is coming from you, not necessarily your person. And again, again, what causes me to believe that this is this King of Cups. King of Cups is sitting here on the table with the Ten of Wands. He's waiting you for you to release those so we can start something new. But again, um, Sagittarius, you're carrying around this baggage, which technically is a third party in your situation. It's you, your person, and your baggage. All right. Right. Universe has my back oracle card fell all the way down on the floor. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. I promise. You know, I wish I was this good, but I ain't. God is so good. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. I think all of this is happening so you can see that the issue is with you, Sagittarius. Or for the reversal that your person can see the issue is with them. If this is the situation where it's your person who's bringing their baggage into the bullshit, only thing you have to do is just keep being you, keep loving, keep keep doing what you're doing, because eventually, you know, God will correct and rectify the situation where they're gonna have to basically look at the man or the woman in the mirror and see, you know, that devil inside of them. And then, you know, kind of hopefully they're strong enough to get rid of it. My Moonology cards, conclusions are within reach. Just as I was saying, that man or woman in a mirror, you know, like the fool's journey. He saw that devil inside based on, you know, the trauma and everything that he experienced on his journey. And once he saw that fool inside, excuse me, that devil inside, he knew 
He had to go off and manage and take care of that devil and get rid of that devil or that devil will continue to run amok on his journey. And for you, Sagittarius, I feel like whatever that is inside of you, whatever these Ten of Wands are, they're running amok in your relationship. We have Taurus and Libra, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces. Did I get that right? Yeah, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces. And that's it. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading, reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.